the campus of the University of Maryland for today's game. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Lewis takes it at the 12, gets to about the 27-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Gives it left side. And they got him for a loss. Loss of one there for the halfback. Loss of one yard on the play. Second and 11. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Boy, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. He's going to try and scramble, and he hits him hard at the 21. That's a loss of five yards. That makes it fourth and long. Fourth and long here after the sack. Horn, the return man. Takes it at the 43. They'll bring him down at the 49-yard line. Cody's on full display here for the first time, and it's going to be interesting to see what this defense has got in store for him as he's playing in front of a hostile crowd here. A tough crowd and a defense is determined to take him out of the game. They're going to line up. They're going to challenge him physically at the line of scrimmage. There are going to be a lot of times two different players aligned to be able to take him out of the game. So I think it's one thing to ask this young man as a receiver to make plays, but at some point, there's going to have to be some other players on this offense step up and help him out. From the 32-yard line, first down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a game of five on the way. That brings him second and five. They'll run it. Nice run to the outside. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. Solid five-yard pickup. He was almost able to get to the secondary, but as it is, he still manages to move the sticks. Nice run up the middle. That's good for a game of five yards. That'll make it second and four. They hit second and four. Ball on the 17-yard line. He's got an opening. The 10. And it pays off. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. So that's a five-play, 49-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. Livingston has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. Kirk, you're going to love the way this football game has started for this team. They put a lot of work into it, and it's working for them. Right? Yeah, they've, they've been able to capture the momentum of this game early. It's such a pivotal part of winning a college football game is holding on to that now. Let's just see if they're able to maintain it. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. 
fires out to his receiver. And he's taken down at about the 31. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. From their own 31-yard line, second down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And down he goes at the 40. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. down after a nice run up the middle. Fred, I think they're showing a lot of confidence in this running back. Here's third down and medium. In some cases, you might be thinking that the offense would want to pass, but instead they give it to their back, and he shows that they're not wrong in being able to pick up that first down. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Mike four, Mike four. He makes his way out to about the 35. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it second and six. From the 31 yard line. Second down. Come on. Set down. Caught out of the open. That was a six yard completion, and we'll have first and ten coming up. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Now he tries to buy some time. He lost the ball. The defense scoops it. And now he's got room to run. The five. He's all the way home. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Lewis fields at the 17. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Great leadership right now on that defensive side of the football. Well, you can't play great defense without great leadership and just an attitude. And, and right now, early in this game, it's refreshing to watch this defense play with the leadership and with the speed and, and the attitude that it takes to be great. It was a rough road on their last drive as the fumble led to a touchdown. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you. But it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. Fires out quick. It's picked off. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. Boy, just when it looked like they had a chance to get right back into this game, they throw the interception. Now it's still early. Let's see if their defense can bail them out. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. That's a game of 13 on the play. First down. Three down, three down. Hey, check my 
Nice run there. Good gain by the tailback of about seven on the option play. That'll bring up second and three. First quarter is over. Watch out, folks. This one is turning into a major upset. The score here in College Park is the Bison, 14, the Terrapins, nothing. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. They'll bring him down around the one-yard line. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Back 22, back 22. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Back, up, 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 up. And he gets the touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. A four play, 34 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. The score now, 21 0. They line up to kick this one away. Lewis takes it at the 16, and he makes it out to about the 31 yard line. Well, this defense has got to be proud of what they've been able to do in this football game so far. Love to see the goose eggs up there for this defense. And the way their offense is playing, this game is really shaping together for this team. Offense comes back out looking to improve from their last effort. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Jackson off the fake. He gained a couple of yards on the keeper. And that was the freshman linebacker who was right there to make the play. Second down and seven coming up here. He Ball on the 33. Right he fights forward to about the 33. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. This guy is very physical, and he does a good job of taking on blockers. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Well, that's one of those plays where the wide receiver is expected to make something happen after the reception, but the defense wasn't giving up anything. Horn is back deep to return. He's taken down at the 40-yard line. Fantastic return. Boy, is he explosive. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Here he goes. Gets out to around the 28. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. It's first and 10. Ball on the 28. He has some room. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's tackled at the 18. That's a game of 10 on the play. First down. Roger, Roger. Mike 16, Mike 16. Tackle around the 10 yard line. Call it a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's in for the touchdown. That gives him another touchdown to go along with the one he scored earlier. Yeah, he has a lot of freedom to make plays like that, and he can do it because of his athletic ability. The coaches recognize that, and it's proven to be successful. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I'm really surprised how lopsided this first half has been. But this is college football, and no matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. The defender had it and then dropped it. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And they make the stop at the 36-yard line. made at the 46 so it's second down and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down and he throws it away good job here by the defense if you let this quarterback set and throw he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play And off, and he's met immediately. Great job here in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. Horn is back deep to return the punt. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. One of the nation's top talents really struggling in this one today. Cody's big playability was supposed to be on display, and yet he's trying to find any kind of rhythm. And we've seen the team rally around, though, and they got the lead, Kurt. Yeah, and Brad, this defense has done just a great job of being able to take him out of this game today. They've been able to really just limit his touches, and yet for some reason they still find themselves trailing in this game. And I think it's a good example of how one player can alter a defensive game plan and really puts this defense in a position where they're going to have to make some adjustments here and try to put more pressure on this team and get the ball back to their own offense. Makes the grab past the marker. Brought down at the 50-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 50, first down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's going to try and scramble. They bring him down. That makes it second and 14. tight end. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. The offense calls a timeout. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Fires it out. And he's taken down at the 38-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. He's scrambling. He's taken off. And down he goes around the 17-yard line. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. Over the middle to his tailback. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Check, check, check. That makes it first and goal. He scrambled. And a nice move to finish it off. Touchdown. This one has gotten out of hand. Usually we don't see games get real ugly until the second half, when the talent of the depth chart starts to show. But man, we're still here in the first half, and it's already looking like a blowout. He splits the uprights with the extra point. 
Livingston ready to kick. Number 20, second turn. Fielded at the four. They'll bring him down at the 19-yard line. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. I don't know what these guys have to do to get back on track, but they need to try something. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. It's second and 10. Ball on their own 19. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it third and seven. One half remains, but it looks like we might have a major upset brewing. The score here at Bird Stadium is the Bison, 35, the Terrapins, nothing. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, Dave Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This game looks like Blowout City. I don't think I'm crazy, David Pollock. I don't think it's taking up residence in Blowout City. I think it's just passing through and visiting. Uh, we might have a comeback in store in the second half. Well, I think you're crazy and you need to go to the halfway house and visit and stay for a while because this game isn't going anywhere back the other direction. It's over. Put the women and children to bed. Go nope. find something else a little bit more entertaining. No. Nope. Open a bag of chips. You know, start another season of something else because this, nope. this one's a wrap. There's going to be a comeback. So you're saying there's a chance. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese and David, you guys just sit there in your easy chairs. Kirk and I have work to do here in this third quarter. Hopefully it's going to get better. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I really hope you'll stick around and watch the second half of this game. During the second half, I expect Kirk Herbstreit to give us a comprehensive history of every playbook he's ever had in his entire football career dating back to Pee Wee. That would be infinitely more interesting than having to watch the second half of this blow. <laughs> Definitely, uh, that would be probably more entertaining. We get on games all the time. They start to get out of hand. You got to empty the bucket. So, guys, back to you. Have some fun. Tell me something I don't know. These teams are pretty boring. Give me something from the human interest file, Brad Nessler. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Gets it. He's in space. He's tackled in the open field. That's good for him. 12 yards. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 48. They go right, and he's tackled behind the line. And he's tackled at the 24. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Three down, three down. Mike, 16. Mike, 16. He'll get the call again. Inside the 10. Touchdown. Very 
the impressive run by the halfback to find the end zone. Good play call here by the offense coordinator. He realizes when you get down into the red zone and you have a halfback like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. He makes the PAT. Livingston has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I tell you what, you got to give these guys credit. They put up a great defensive effort in the first half. They carry it over in the second half. Doesn't look like they're going to give in. Yeah, and this game isn't over yet. I, I think it's going to require them to continue to play with this kind of edge and attitude to be able to give themselves a chance to win the game because we still have a ball game in our hands and still a whole quarter to go. Ready! Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 25. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And he hits him hard at the 17. Fourth and long here after the sack. Horn back deep to return. <laughs> Tackle made at the 30. Maryland's done everything right in this football game, at least to this point. Yeah, at this point is a key. We still have an entire quarter to go, but they have executed perfectly on both sides of the ball. They've got a nice lead here. They're thinking about upset. When you're a quarterback and you start this close to the end zone, your eyes just light up when you take the field. Conversely, the defense is thinking, uh-oh, we can't let him get another one so quickly. Incomplete, almost picked off. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. Scrambling around. And he tackles him hard at the 28. There's a strike complete. I think the big thing for a defense when they face a screen is chasing it from the inside out, which means the defensive linemen are the key to slowing down a really well-executed screen pass. Because if you think about it, the offensive linemen are getting downfield blocking against the linebackers and the safeties. The defensive linemen have got to be able to recognize screen and then have the quickness to be able to chase the running back down from behind before he gets his momentum going and can outrun. He's taken down at the six-yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He's scrambling. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. You know, he was looking and looking, and he finally said to himself, you know what, I'll just take this thing myself. Nice decision making. Tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. Tackle at the 15. The Terrapins have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. Uh, and right now, they just have to forget the score. Get the clock, just go out there and try to get a first down. Try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. 
drop back a yard. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Bring up second and 12. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 14. And he can't get away from the pressure. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Stand there. And some good play calling defensively. They always had someone in the right spot to make a play and force the three and out. The punter will line up deep in his own end zone. Horn fields it at the 41. He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. Well, they had a lot of success on their last possession, and now they're going to start this one off with excellent field position. It's hard to ask your defense to come out and make a stop when they're already backed up this far within their own end zone. They'll bring him down at the 11-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 11-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 11-yard line. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. So they get five yards there on the halfback draw. Third and five. Six yards to the end zone. He's on the run. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. What a touchdown. He didn't see anyone open, so he just took it in himself. This quarterback is fearless, and the defense needs to either spy him or walk the safeties up when they've got the ball down near the goal line. And he hits the PAT. So a four-play, 26-yard drive, and they put up seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. And they got it. One quarter to go before they turn the college football world upside down. The score here in College Park is the Bison 56, the Terrapins nothing. Just about set to start the fourth quarter, mercifully. Four down, four down. Mike four, Mike four. Down, blue 80. Zips it to the tight end. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. That brings us third and 14. It's third and 14. Ball on the 21. Three down, three down. Mike, four. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Horn is back to receive.
Horn takes it at the 49, makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. This really has been a well-oiled machine all day long. Brad, it's been fun to watch this team play. They've done it in every phase, the defense, the special teams, the offense, just a perfect performance. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. Quick pass, and he breaks another. And they make the stop around the 18-yard line. Gain of 22 yards. From the 18-yard line, it's first down. Here's an opening. He's in another touchdown. And they just continue to pour it on out there. This is one team that's been extremely well prepared. These young men have played about as good a game as you could ask. And he adds the extra point. Livingston gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I tell you, you've got to tip your hat to the defense. They played well today. Well, this defense has done everything that's asked to them. They've slowed down the opposing offense. They've created turnovers. They've gotten pressure on the quarterback. And these last couple drives, they just played probably the best they've played all game. And it'll be interesting to see how much fight this team has left in them. This has been a brutal game. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. And somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. Horn is back deep to return the punt. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. I expect him to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the books. Oklahoma! He's got an opening. He's at the 40. And they push him out at the 27. First and 10, ball on the 27. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. They go to the left for a nice game. Good for a game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. He's got room to run. Nice run, and he's brought down. Game seven on the play. First down. From the 14 yard line. First down. Room around the corner. Gets out to around the six. That makes it second and two. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. 
Franken on the handoff. And there's another one. Clock keeper just keep it moving for Kirk and I, will you? We want to get out of here. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It really has. They're dominating the point of attack. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. They also gotten them to turn it over twice. They're still allowing the passing game to click. Yeah, the secondary and linebackers aren't able to make a play at the point of catch a lot of times. All the good plays from this defense has helped them into the lead. We're late in the fourth quarter. This game has been a blowout for quite some time, and Kirk and I are just looking to make our flights. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. The draw play gets maybe two yards. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Cody's miserable day comes to an end, but hey, the important part is they got the win. Yeah, you talk about a day to forget as far as his individual performance, but the big thing is this team was able to win the football game and able to overcome his off day. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nestler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.